what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if you're stopping by the channel for the first time please consider subscribing to my channel and while you're at it smash that like button for me i really would appreciate it also hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video if you want up to 15 free stocks moo moo is going to give you up to 15 free stocks when you open a new moo moo brokerage account they're going to give you up to 15 free stocks once you put a hundred dollars in that account they're going to give you five free stocks if you put a thousand dollars in your account they're going to give you 15 free stocks now you need to make these deposits when you open the account or shortly after you open the account to qualify for the free stocks there's a link down in the description box of this video go click on that moo moo link open up your new moo moo account today go get that free stock go get that free money today the federal reserve is going to make a decision on interest rates now they got three choices they can increase short-term interest rates they can keep short-term interest rates exactly where they're at right now or they could decrease short-term interest rates let's talk about all three scenarios let's start with just leaving interest rates exactly where they are why would the fed do that well the fed would do that if they believe inflation is doing exactly what they have been trying to get it to do for the last 18 to 20 months it's still coming down but they're not absolutely sure we're out of the woods yet so they don't want to prematurely do something with interest rates that will drastically affect long-term inflation right now the fed feels pretty good about inflation but of course they don't want to pump the brakes too fast and inflation do something that they don't want it to do so that's scenario one they just leave rates exactly where they are which is 5.5 percent that's the fed funds rate currently the next choice would be to increase short-term interest rates today now why would they do that well they would increase short-term interest rates if they believe inflation is still increasing right the whole point of increasing short-term interest rates is to get inflation to come down so we have some price stability in our economy so that everybody that lives in America can afford to buy the basic things they need to live. So if the Fed believes inflation is still on the rise, they will increase short-term interest rates today. Nobody knows what the Fed is gonna do, guys. There's a lot of speculation out there, but nobody knows for sure. They'll make the decision by 2 p.m. Eastern time today. And then the Fed will come out, or the Fed chair will come out and have his comments at 2.30. So stick around and pay attention for that. The third option would be decrease short-term interest rates. Why would the Fed do that? Well, the Fed would do that if they believe inflation is defeated. They've done what they wanted to do. It is not a potential for inflation to increase anytime soon and now it's time to start lowering short-term interest rates so that assets can start growing again the market believes the fed will not increase short-term interest rates today the market also believes the fed will not decrease short-term interest rates today the market believes the fed will leave interest rates exactly where they are so what do I believe? Well, I believe the Fed will leave interest rates where they are. I think the Fed will reduce interest rates in their March meeting. They meet again on March 20th. And I think that's when the Fed will start reducing short-term interest rates. And the reason I believe that is because that'll give them the opportunity to get some more data They'll get another jobs report. They'll get some CPI inflation reports and they can continue to monitor 
exactly what inflation is doing over these next several months. But I believe in March of 2024, specifically March 20th, they will start reducing short-term interest rates. And when that happens, guys, I think we usher in officially the new bull market, the stock market. And that's why I've been telling you guys, 2024, in my opinion, is a wealth transfer year. Be prepared, get yourself ready. Because once the Fed start reducing these short-term interest rates, assets will go up, paper assets will go up. And the long-term effect of the Fed reducing short-term interest rates will bring down long-term interest rates. And y'all know what long-term interest rates, that's 30-year fixed rate mortgage rates. When those rates start coming down, guess what will happen to real estate? The real estate market will boom as well. So I think assets are in a position to start increasing in value once the Fed starts reducing short-term interest rates. And I think that will happen in March. I don't think it'll happen today, but you, you never know. You never know. We'll know at 2 p.m. Eastern time and it could shock the world, though, if they do decrease today. That would shock the world, and that would send our stock market into a new bull market immediately. I'm optimistic. If they decrease short-term interest rates today, fantastic. I'd love it because I know assets are going to start increasing in value. If they wait till March 20th to do it, that's fantastic as well. At some point in the first half, of 2024, it's gonna happen. Now, how many rate cuts we'll have, how large will the rate cuts be, no one knows. It's speculated they're gonna do 25 basis point decreases uh, three times this year. But guys, it could be 50. Who knows, right? It, it depends on what the economy is doing. If they want to kickstart the economy, they'll do larger rate decreases. They believe the economy is doing great, they may do smaller rate decreases. But either way, they're gonna do something this year because guess what? What they were trying to accomplish with inflation, they've done it. Inflation is down and we have not seen inflation go up significantly since they stopped increasing rates back in July of 2023. So that tells you right there, they're done rate hiking which is good for assets. Now, we just gotta put ourselves in a position where we're ready to take advantage of this opportunity in 2024. I keep telling you guys, wealth transfer blueprint, man. Wealth transfer blueprint. We gotta have what? Income. And then we gotta keep that income. We can't spend it on making someone else wealthy. We gotta stay out of consumer debt. And then we gotta save and invest. That's the wealth transfer blueprint this year. And I'm asking everybody to consider that because if you want to have a pot of gold at the end of your rainbow, you gotta take advantage of this opportunity right now. Like I said, the Fed will be meeting today and they're gonna meet to decide on interest rates. And I told you what I believe the outcome is gonna be, but no one knows guys, they could decrease short-term interest rates by 50 basis points today and you do do you know what that would do to our stock market it would throw it into a crazy bull market run and if you're not invested you're going to miss those days you're going to miss the best days of 2024 because you're not invested so get yourself invested like i said if you want up to 15 free stocks from mumu click on that link down in the description box Open up your Moomoo brokerage account so that you're ready to take advantage of this, this, this wealth transfer explosion that's going to be happening this year. Guys, you got to take yourself off the sideline and put yourself in the game if you want to build wealth. It ain't going to fall out the sky and hit you on top of the head. Drop your comments down in the comment box and let me know what you think about what the Fed is going to do today. I'm curious to know what you think. I believe there's a chance they may decrease short-term interest rates today. And if they do new bull market but the likely thing what they'll do is keep rates steady and keep monitoring and then they decrease rates in march 
you stop by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button. Thoughts become things. You can see it in your mind. You can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. Stay healthy, get wealthy, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.